Hi, and welcome back to day two of Kapow Live. Don't worry if you missed out on yesterday, you can always go back and watch it on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We've got loads of things planned. We've got games, songs, challenges, and another amazing Bible story as well. So stick around for that. But now it's time for our song. So up you get, up the seti or boogie where you are. It's time to sing our first song, Brand New Day. guys welcome back to tom versus zach uh our challenge today is all about jenga or, or bricks dominoes uh tom do you want to explain what we're doing yeah exactly so if you remember yesterday i was first so way zach you lost actually no you were second place, it. which is basically oh, God, second place so yeah so today's challenge we are going to be building the tallest i can say building tallest structure here Tallest building or structure out of Jenga blocks. Now, I was I went to go look for my Jenga blocks and realized I couldn't find them at all. So I'll be using the good old classic dominoes and Zach will be using the Jenga blocks. Are you ready, Zach? Yeah. Three, ready. two, one, go. Ooh. Oh. Wee. He's a loser. Oh! Where have I gone for this shape? Right, let's start again.
Oh, 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 That sounded so nice. Good. No. Okay, Zach, I'm finished. I think I've won. Oh. Let's measure. <laughs> Let's measure up. Oh no, <laughs> that was so much harder than I thought. That was very hard. <laughs> uh. Uh, mine is about seventeen and a half centimeters. Oh, are you serious? Mine's seventeen. <laughs> hey, I mean, Zach, it's what nice. I. Said. It's down to the last time, down to the last tie tomorrow. I'm actually really looking forward to tomorrow's challenge as well. Tomorrow's challenge is going to be good. All right, well done, Zach. And we shall see you for the final challenge of Tom versus Zach. So see you guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Kapow Live. Thanks, boys, for that amazing challenge. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I present to you, it's my friend and yours, it's Little Monster! Yes. Fine. She wants a better introduction. So, dramatic music, please. Hello, Monster. Yes. It can't. Do you mind if I? Can I? Do you mind if I get rid of Thank you. You okay? Now, yesterday you were a little bit naughty, weren't you? Yes, you were. Tell him what you did. Yes, you squirted me in the face with water. What do you mean, no, that's what you did. You got me wet, do you remember? Oh, sorry. You used your master builder skills in order to get me wet without actually touching me, wasn't it? By scaring me and making me spray in my face. Yeah, yeah, all right, stop, all right. Well, you're not gonna do that today, are you? No, you're gonna behave yourself today. But you do have another skill. Why do I have a funny feeling about this? What's your skill today? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You can make things magically appear. Wow. You're a master builder. Yes, I was worried you were going to say that. So what are we going to do today? Right. Okay. So all I have to do is stand on the spot and sing the words, it fell from the sky one day. Sounds easy enough. What? And where do you want me to do it? right on this spot. So not over here, and go, it fell from the sky one day. Nothing worked. Try over, I'll, I'll move over here, okay? It fell from the sky one day. Didn't work for the monster. Oh, here? Oh, okay. It fell from the sky one day. You think that's funny? Yeah, I'll be after you. Ow! Oh, I suppose you did have a point. She is a master builder after all. Now, while I go sort out my head, I'll be back to tell you the story. Well, welcome back for day two of Kapow Live. And today I want to tell you a story about how God made a way of escape. You see, there once was a lady. She lived in a great big city, one of the most famous cities in the whole wide world. In fact, the walls of the city were so famous, they were thick and strong, that people would have chariot races round the walls. Now, her name was Rahab. Now, you don't hear that name that often today, but I think I know why, because see, Rahab wasn't a very nice lady. You see, Rahab didn't have a very nice job, and Rahab had an attitude. You see, I imagine that Rahab always had her hands on her hips and she always said these sorts of words. Uh, yeah, whatever. Because Rahab 
wasn't very nice. People would say, well, Rahab, that's not a very nice thing to say. And she would say, oh, yeah, whatever. And they would say things like, but Rahab, you can't do things like that. And she would say, uh, yeah, whatever. Because that's the sort of person she was. Rahab didn't care for other people. She liked to do things her own way. And when she was older, she lived right by the walls of this great big city. You see, Rahab wasn't a very nice person, but neither were the people in the city. In fact, they were really bad. In fact, I can't tell you how bad they are because I wouldn't want to embarrass your mums and dads and your teachers at school. They didn't worship the one and true and living God. They used to do things their own way. They used to worship idols. Some were made of wood, some were made of stone. I'm not quite sure, but perhaps some were made out of paper. And they'd give it a story and they'd worship stone, rocks and wood. A friend once told me why they're called idols. Because, you see, they're idle. They can't do anything. I, never mind. And so, you see, the people worship these idols instead of the one and true and living God. Well, you might say, well, what sort of things did Rahab do? Well, let me tell you. Rahab told lots of lies. Rahab loved to cheat people out of their money. And she used to love to steal things from people as well. Not just the things that they owned, but people as well. Rahab was doing some horrible and nasty things, and so were the people in the great big city. You know as well as I do that when we do things wrong, there's a punishment for it. Perhaps if you do it at home, perhaps you've got to sit on the naughty step. Perhaps at school you've got to write lines or stay after school or something like that. So what about all the naughty things that we do in our hearts? Well, God had an amazing plan. Not to punish people, but to send his son to die on a cross and to come back to life again. So no matter what we've said or done, when we say sorry to God, we can be friends with him now and forever in his home in heaven. Meanwhile, God's people, the Israelites, had a brand new leader. His name was Joshua. Now, Joshua was a wise man. Joshua was a great leader because, you see, he listened to advice and he prayed to the one and true and living God. That's why he was the leader of God's special army. Joshua was a great example to those around him. Now, God had told him to take over the great big city. But how would he do that? The walls were so big. The walls were so thick. How was he ever going to do that? So to find out, he sent out two spies. To find their way into the city and to find out everything they could about the great big city. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us how they managed to find a way in. Perhaps they dug a tunnel into the city. Perhaps they climbed over the walls. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know they found a way in. When they got into the city, they realised the people were worse than they heard. They really did do awful things. And they bumped into Rahab. And Rahab took them back to her house. And as they got back, Rahab asked them a really big question. She said, are you part of Captain Joshua's army? Are you with the one and true and living God? Why, yes, said the spies. Are you coming to take over the city? said Rahab. And the spy said, well, yes. You know, the one and true and living God, the one that you worship. And the spies went, yeah. Well, Rahab said, would he forgive me for all the wrong things that I've ever done wrong? And the spy said, well, yeah. With that came a knock at the door. It was the guards. Open up, Rahab. So she did. She told the boys hide upstairs and she opened the door and the guard said hello Rahab uh, we've heard reports that uh, spies might be in the vicinity and Rahab said spies oh spies yes you mean they're here said the guard um no said Rahab they've just left if you go that way you might just catch them Thank you, Rahab. And off they ran. The spies came back down. They thanked her for helping them. And Rahab said, I want to join you. When the attack happens, how can I know I'm going to be safe? The spy said, put a red cord outside your window and we'll know that you'll be safe. So for once, Rahab listened. She did exactly what the spies told her to do. And the spies went running back to Captain Joshua. So the spies reported back to Joshua. They told him exactly what had happened. Now Joshua was still uncertain about what to do and so like any wise man he prayed to God instead. 
And God gave him an excellent plan, a plan to bring down the great big walls. You see, God had a plan. The plan wasn't to use swords or spears. No, it was to use the band. For six days, the Israelites were told to march around the walls and to play the band seven times a day. For six days, the Israelites and the band marched around with their trumpets in the air and singing and dancing around the walls. Can you imagine what the guards thought at the top of those walls? What are they doing? They're singing and dancing with their trumpets. That's not going to bring the walls down. They Perhaps they thought. Now, day seven was different. On day seven, God told them exactly what to do. As they went round the walls one more time, they were to shout for God and for Joshua. And then they'd see what God would do. So they marched round with their trumpets, with their singing and dancing. And as they came back round to the front gate, Joshua said, now. And they shouted, for God and for Joshua. And the guards were up the top of the wall laughing their heads off when suddenly they saw a crack. And then two and three. And the crack went all the way up from the top, all the way down to the bottom. And suddenly the walls were shaking and the walls were crumbling. The walls came down with a great big crash. None of the walls were still standing, apart from one little house with the red cord outside. That day, God really had made a way of escape for Rahab. You see, about a thousand years later, God would do the same thing again. Not with the red cord, but with something else that was red. When he sent his own son, Jesus, to die on a cross and to come back to life again. So no matter what we've said or done, when we say sorry to God, we can be friends with him now and forever in his home in heaven. Why not do that today and ask Jesus to be your friend? Not just for today, but for every single day. Because God really does make a way of escape. Remember to join us today for some virtual family fun over Zoom with Family Time. With Family Fortunes for the grown-ups, a two-minute tale from one of our team. And today we have our arty party. So get your pens and pencils at the ready and join us at 12 o'clock. To join the session, simply head over to our Facebook group, Kapow Live Lego. 2021 and join in some virtual family fun today. Thanks, little monster. It's time for our motto today. You've heard this tune before, but the words truly are amazing. So if you're ready, you need to be standing up straight and join in with me with this amazing song to help us remember a very famous part of the Bible. Don't be afraid, be brave and you will see the Lord save you today. Exodus 14 verse 13. Don't be afraid, be brave and you will see the Lord save you today. Exodus 14 verse 13. Well, hello boys and girls, mums and dads, welcome to our quiz time. We've got a really great quiz ready for you now and I hope you're going to enjoy it. The quiz we're playing today is Digging for Treasure. We're going to have a treasure map. And we've got two contestants who are going to be looking for the treasure. Now some of the treasure chests contain gold, some of them are empty, but one of them contains a booby trap. And if you get that one, then you lose everything that you've had in that round. So without any more, let's get to know our two contestants for today. Let's have a big round of applause for Tom and for Zach. Thank you. Give them a good round of applause. Welcome you two. Are you ready? Great. Well, let's have our first question. Fingers on buzzers and let's see who gets this first one. Question number one on today's story. What was the name of the man who was the leader of the people of Israel? 
Yeah, we've got Tom coming in there. What's the answer, Tom? Joshua. Correct, it was Joshua. Well done. Okay, it's time for you to pick a chest. Which one are you going to go for? Nine. Okay, let's see what's behind that. Oh, fantastic, you got 200 coins. Question number two. What was the name of the city that they attacked? Tom, it's you again. Well done. What's the answer? Jericho. Correct, it's Jericho. So choose the next one. Six. Oh, it's empty. Never mind. Try again. Zach, you got to be a bit quicker on the buzzer. Are you ready? Here we go. Fingers on buzzers. How many spies did Joshua send into the land? Tom, it's you again. Twelve. No, it wasn't twelve. Zach, can you take this for a bonus? Two. Yes. Correct, it was two. Okay. Let's see what you can find. Three. Oh, well done. You've got a hundred coins. Brilliant. Question number four. What was the name of the woman that helped the two spies? Zach, well done. You're waking up now. Rahab. Correct. It was Rahab. Let's see what you can find now. Two. Fifty coins. Well done. Next question. For how many days did they march around the city once? Zach. Seven. No, it's not seven. Tom, can you take it for a bonus? Six. Correct. It was six. Okay, Tom, let's see what you can find. Nine. You hit the booby trap. You just lost everything. So at the end of that, the scores are Tom zero because you got blown up and Zach, you got 150, which means that today's winner is Zach. Let's have a big round of applause. Well, boys and girls, mums and dads, I hope you enjoyed our quiz. That's it for today, but we'll be back tomorrow for another quiz. And so will Tom and Zach. Let's see who's going to win tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me here today in the Kapow studio. We've had great fun together with our competitions and our amazing Bible story as well about Joshua, the one who trusted in God, even in the impossible. That day, God really did make a way of escape. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had fun with me today. Remember, the fun doesn't stop here. Look in the description below. Why not link to us and you can be part of family time today. It's for all the family. We'll have family fortunes. We'll have a two minute tale from one of the team and our exclusive competition as well. You don't want to miss out on that. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to close out with a song and I'll see you next time. Listening on, I can hear all the noises of creation making music in my ears, and I think to myself, so I sing it aloud, 'cause I want everybody.